Clary. 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 Yeah. Clary. Okay. Balint. Clary. Perfect. I said it once. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast. Drupal technology, community, and business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast. Drupal technology, community, and business. module for that there of course there is <sighs> drupal dev days 2014 in seged hungary is wrapping up for me uh this is balint kaleri and he is we are going to be talking about his exciting new startup which is based on using drupal to construct a software as a service product So, Balint, what brought you to install Drupal the first time? My uncle called me and he asked me if I could um, build a website for him. And I said, yes, sure. And uh, by the time I went through, um, you know, different uh, technologies at the university, but it was just basic HTML, uh, basic PHP, pure PHP, uh, CSS, and so on. And I realized that building the whole thing on my own, it's not gonna work. So I wanted to use a robust system for it. And um, I remembered that blue drop, you know, the logo. And um, it just came to my mind and, and, and I thought, okay, I would give it a try. And I was going to evaluate um, more systems like Drupal and, and, and other competitors. But I just got stuck with Drupal and uh, um, because I loved it, so I didn't even evaluate more. And I decided to use Drupal to build the first website um, um, yeah, for, for my uncle. What's your favorite thing about Drupal? My favorite thing about Drupal is that it enables me to, to build things that, that are important, that, are, that can be important for people. And um, it just gives me the joy to, to, to create those things. I can do things um, that are truly important, truly essential. And, uh, you know, the rest of us, uh, the, rest, the rest of it is, is solved by, uh, by either Drupal core or country modules. And, and I know how to configure those. Uh, so I'm basically, I feel really empowered. I'm capable of doing everything with Drupal, really. I'd like to know about your path from becoming and, and working as a software developer to your new enterprise, um, how has open source software turned you into a business person? There was a certain point at my career when I started to really, really care about what we are building and more importantly, how, why we are building that, what's the business value. And I realized that i understand this quite good, so um, I could I could do something on my own. And uh, uh, as a developer, I can I can I can deliver good business value because because I think I have the mindset. I I enjoyed talking to clients a lot, and I enjoy discovering their actual needs. And uh, you know, sometimes I enjoy convincing them to do it another way, which would be maybe more cost efficient, but which would give them more value. So these kind of things uh, led me to that realization that I could do something uh, on the business side too. Um, but still it wasn't planned at all. Like it was, I just accidentally met with my partners. It, it, it was uh, such a coincidence. I'm imagine that it's incredibly valuable with a, a certain amount of knowledge of how to use an open source platform like Drupal. All of a sudden, when you have an idea that you think could be a valid business, when you find people who you can help, right, the cost of risk is incredibly low, right? The investment in um, tools and software is basically almost close to zero. And if you're willing to spend your time Right? Exactly. You can try it out. And you can bootstrap a business with that. If Yes. 
you need to you need to spend a lot of time on this so uh, you have to be prepared that that on the weekends and then the ev on the evenings you, you need to spend a lot of on your own time um, but yes you're very right uh, since since I, I know the tools uh, I, I know what can be done um, fairly easily and you know we are always adjusting our uh, our our plans according to that talk about how you met your partners at what is now indiviso.com and how the idea started and then and what it is okay. indiviso all right um, so i went to this co-working office and uh, my partners uh were renting an office space there so it was a co-working office but they they also had regular offices and uh, we met in the kitchen basically and uh, we just started to to talk uh, and um, it turned out that they 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 were really really nice people and they were quite interested in what i was doing uh, and you know uh, we liked each other and um, it turned out that uh, they were very, very successful in their profession. They, they are HR uh, specialists and um, uh, consultants and also organizational developers. So they are really, really deep into, into human resources. Mm -hmm. And um, a few weeks later, uh, they walked up to me and they said, Barint, we have an idea, um, but we have to sign a confidentiality agreement. <laughs> and I signed it and we went to have a lunch together. And then they told me that, okay, so last year uh, we done a very, very exciting uh, pro project, which was uh, selecting candidates for a big organization. Uh, and it took us for a year to find really, really good candidates for that particular job because, because the requirements were really high. And, um, we have this idea to speed this process up and um, they just asked me is it possible to record videos in a browser and I said yes sure it is possible and uh, they asked me can, can you do it and I said yes of course and um, so they presented their, their idea which was basically uh, introducing a video interview uh, solution into the HR recruitment process and uh, their vision was to to use that as as a pre-screening tool which means we don't uh, suggest that our clients uh, shouldn't meet with with their candidates in person we actually say that they should meet with their candidates because you know you, you cannot save that the human part we never say that but uh, you can really, really narrow down the number of candidates that you that you are willing to talk to in person. Thus, it saves you time, saves you resources, and also it enables you to objectively decide um, what to look for in a candidate. So, so you can compare the candidates because they are uh, recording the videos and you prepare a so-called interview plan and you don't have to be there. Uh, it, it happen it's a one-way video interview, so it happens asynchronously. So uh, candidates can record a video at home themselves and they just you know follow the, the questions and, and they, they answer each of them. And afterwards, the HR professionals of an organization can evaluate and rate the recorded videos. And uh, this really enables them to focus on the competences of the candidates. And that's why we think it's, it's, an, it's a very efficient tool. So Indiviso, if I understand this right, if I'm looking for a job and somebody's using Indiviso, I get a list of questions, Yes. right? And then I have a minute to answer each question in a little video and then go to the next one. Sort of, yes. Right? Yeah. And then everybody who's applied is doing that. And when I'm on the HR side, then you have a sort of uh, set of rating tools so each person who wants to be involved in the decision is making some sort of judgment about each answer. And then you can decide whatever the organization wants, how, you know, we're going to take the top 10 people who got this kind of score on these questions, right? Exactly. So, and then you save all the people who are applying the time of traveling to the office and you, you get hopefully the quality people that you want to spend a day talking with. Yeah, you do get this. Yes. <laughs> that, yeah, you describe it perfectly. That's, that's our goal and that's our business model. Now, this is all built on 
Drupal. Yes. And the other thing that we should talk about, besides your intriguing business model, is using Drupal to go beyond building websites, which is a perfectly valid use case, but building products is another kind of a business. How is Drupal enabling you to make up a, uh, a software as a service based product business? Okay, so I believe uh, the biggest thing here is that I was able to create the prototypes in a very, very short time. And we could really validate our business idea, validate our whole whole startup idea. And then, then we could iterate on top of that. And, and doing that is really efficient in Drupal because you can you can build things very, very quickly with Drupal. You have you have great tools, uh, great contract modules, and uh, and you know my approach to to product development is to build something very rough in the beginning and release it, show that to real customers, and then iterate on top of that. Uh, I, I had a session about this here in at Drupal Dev Days. Uh, so. Drupal really allows me to do that. I mean, imagine you you have a new feature, and basically it's it's just a new view of of a certain type of users, and you build that view, uh, but you you don't theme it properly. Uh, maybe later you want to use I nice icons and and other you know visual stuff that 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 enhances the whole experience but first you just build a very plain looking view and you show that to real customers and they can say that okay this is this is good but uh, can we have that thing in that view and we say yes yeah, sure you can and then you know in the next iteration we show them okay is this what you want and they say yeah this this is this is how we wanted it and then in the next iteration we give a really really nice look nice icons everything and that's how we do a new feature. Okay, and, but and you're using uh, Drupal as a really efficient functionality engine, right? Yes, yes. Do you ever have the problem when you're showing one of those working wireframes to a client that they say something like, yes, but why is that blue? Our, our, our logo is not blue. You know what? If we, if, we, if we say then that this is a development process and you are part of this and you are in control right now. They don't care because they get the idea oh. and they get really excited. Okay, so I, 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 I get to tell you how to build a thing and, I say, and say, yes, sure, you can. Just show me what you want. And um, of course, sometimes they, uh, they, um, you know, uh, they, they, they start feeling very excited and, and throwing so many ideas on us. Of course, we have to say no, like in a polite way that, okay, okay, stop, just just focus on this one. And if you really need the other thing, maybe next time we can talk about that. But um, yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, uh, even, even when we have something which we think it's finalized and they ask some kind of question, okay, so why isn't that showing up there? And we say that, oh, okay, um, yeah, it's not showing up there right now. But in the next iteration, we're going to edit. So we really do this really, really agile thing. And we explain this to our customers that if they buy a service from us, it they're not buying what they see right now, what they're seeing right now during our demonstration. They are buying the uh, the enhanced, the, uh, the improved version of this because we are improving this all the time. I like that vision of your customer as a partner. Yes. So when you built the initial platform, did you work that way with your partners and they were telling you what they thought? Yes. Right. And then when you had what they everybody thought was good, then you worked with your initial clients yes, to make exactly. a platform that the real world, the real world actually was. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's really, really exciting. Yes. That's how I did this. So give us your shameless plug. Tell us your URL again. And everybody... Um, HR people, this sounds like a great innovation. So, if you would like to empower your HR selection process, go to Indiviso.com and get in touch with us because we can help you with that. With Indiviso, you can find the best candidates in shorter time. So, and I find your description of how to productize an idea with Drupal really, really inspiring. And I'm guessing that Drupalists and Drupal business people out there who want to talk with Balint, I'm sure he'd be happy to talk with you. I would be more than happy to do so. And we can find you on Twitter? Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is Balint Clary. 
Uh, you're going to find this in the post, I believe. <laughs> I will link to everything. <laughs> so thank you so much well, for describing this to me. Thank you. And all the best. Thank you.